dear students this is the first time you will be sitting for your board examinations at a new center under new teachers and external invigilators and many other things will be with that but this should not make you make you nervous rather you should be more determined to face these challenges just remember that you should not lose your cool or get stressed because examinations are a way to showcase not only your talent but your skills and efforts just keep in mind that success is not just about outcome but also your effort which you put in while writing your papers so face your exams with a positive attitude and mindset to further enhance and guide you there are many other subject expertise who have taught you and will guide you for your future exams so stay tuned bas success success is the fruit of hard work and efforts success cannot come in a day success is achievement of a goal my dear students english is always taken for granted but as the board exams are soon approaching i would like to share some invaluable tips to help you ace your exam and achieve that coveted high score you should firstly begin by thoroughly understanding the syllabus identify the weightage of different sections and focus on areas that carry more marks this will help you allocate your time and resources efficiently read your paper properly and pay attention to the word limit and practice time management focus on understanding the context identifying key points and summarizing effectively remember persistence and dedication are key to success we should not be discouraged by negative thoughts if we have positive attitude we can definitely achieve any goal and to achieve that goal proper planning time management devotion confidence and determination are necessary we have to learn from our mistakes but should not give up practice because we all know that practice makes a man perfect at last i would like to just say that teachers can open the door but you must enter it yourself your mind is not a vessel to be filled but a fire to be ignited so gear up and ignite the fire and give your best good luck best wishes and blessings for the upcoming exams maths are you afraid don't panic while solving the questions keep your mind cool then only you can solve the questions properly you realize your 15 minutes reading time use rap tool for that reading analyze and plan plan how to attempt the questions try to follow the sequence of question paper avoid cutting and do your calculations carefully your work should be very neat and clean and write the formulas with every solution when you will attempt the questions from the chapters like height and distance circles and triangles draw the figure properly and give proper details complete detail for the figure you will be getting the marks for this and don't forget to write the unit with the answers manage your time with your question paper from the question paper and uh, please don't waste your time in thinking for that question which you are not able to solve that time okay and uh, one only one mantra is there for getting the good marks in mathematics practice practice and keep doing practice i wish you all the best for your board exams good luck good morning students as we will commence with the board examination i am here as assistant teacher giving you certain tips that will fetch good marks in the examination You all must be busy solving sample papers. It is very essential because you learn time management. While doing the examination, you are given 15 minutes preparation time. That is the reading time. You have to read the question paper with full concentration and try to analyze the answers that you have to write in the answer sheets. While answering the answering, you need to write in points because while writing in points that gives a neat and clean impression. at the same time do highlight the important points so that the examiner is under the impression that you have written all the important points 
don't leave any question unanswered because there is no negative marking. Whatever answer comes to your mind, you have to answer them. Last but not the least, map is also very important because students usually lose marks in map. Once you have done with the paper, you should have enough time for revision. While revising, you come to know about your mistakes and you can rectify those mistakes. Source-based questions are also very important because you have to read the passage very carefully and try to answer the questions accordingly. You have to stay calm and composed even if you don't know any answer. Don't lose your patience. Be calm, be composed, be hydrated. At the same time, you should always believe in your abilities, your preparation and you should try to face the board examination with full confidence and with a positive attitude. So here, I wish you all the very best for your forthcoming board examination. All the best students. Dear students, you all are very soon going to face your board examination. So my advice for your board examinations will be that practice the sample paper. The very important thing is this right now. You need to practice it and if you face any difficulty in any of the question or any topic, please go through it again and re-answer them so that you know your shortcomings. And the very important thing while you take up your examination is the very first 15 minutes of the examination. Those 15 minutes you read your question paper very well, manage your time, how much time you need to give to which section. Different sections are there, please don't waste time unnecessarily answering the question in law. To the point answers are important for your science. For example, if you need to, if the answer is to be given in one word, please answer it in one word and then finish it. At last, I will wish everyone best of luck for your examination. Do well and please be composed and calm during your examination. I know you all have a belief in yourself and you will do all very good. आप सभी की वार्षिक परीक्षाएं जल्द ही आरंभ होने वाली हैं, बच्चों सर्वप्रथम प्रश्न पत्र को देखकर आप सभी संयम और धैर्य से उस प्रश्न पत्र को पढ़ें। जो प्रश्न आपको सबसे अच्छी तरह से आता है उस प्रश्न का उत्तर सर्वप्रथम लिखें उसके बाद क्रमानुसार आप सभी प्रश्नों के उत्तर लिखते जाएं। उत्तर पुस्तिका में उत्तर लिखते समय आप स्वच्छता का ध्यान जरूर रखें ज्यादा कटिक उत्तर पुस्तिका में न करें और एक बार आप सभी पाठों के लेखक लेखिका कवि कवित्री इनके बारे में भी संक्षिप्त जानकारी पढ़ लें क्योंकि कभी कभी इनसे इनसे रिलेटेड प्रश्न भी पूछे जाते हैं अनुच्छेद लेखन के जो संकेत बिंदु आपके प्रश्न पत्र में आए हैं उन्हीं संकेत बिंदुओं को आधार बनाकर आप अपना अनुच्छेद लिखें विषय से भटके नहीं इसी के साथ हार्दिक शुभकामनाएं धन्यवाद